Do they bite? <laughs> you ever been pecked to death by a duck? <laughs> Never heard of anybody being <laughs> pecked to death? Yeah. It isn't going to happen. <laughs> it doesn't. Well, they but they are hungry. <laughs> yes, yeah, they, they are. <laughs> I'd like you to meet the new hosts of Go Island. <laughs> baby one and baby two. Ouch! They do bite. <laughs> they do bite. <laughs> Guest hosts for today's show. This is Go Island. <laughs> All right, Go Island is on location today in Powell River, and we are at Wendy Devlin's farm. And these are the two newest members of her farming family. They have goats and chickens and ducks. And of course, we're here. We're actually not even here for the animals. We're here to talk about CD Saturday, which is coming up on March 14th here in Powell River. It's going to be amazing. These two are just too cute for words. Look at the little eyes. Oh, he's got bluey gray eyes and this one is more black. I'm just keeping my hands so they don't jump out because it's a long way down. He's kind of hungry. Don't you grab any skin there, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. So coming up in today's show, we have something from Port Alberni and something from Campbell River and something from Comox Valley. But we're going to start right here with a story from our brand new video journalist, John McKenzie, here in Powell River. Have a look. Oh, they're so cute. They're so soft. So soft. <laughs> and that is the beautiful mama of the two little ducks that we started our show with. And they were named yesterday by neighborhood kids that came over here to Wendy's farm. They named them Puck Duck and Stanley Duck because they are NHL fans of hockey. That is hysterical. So Puck Duck and Stanley Duck were the two little ones we started the show with. And now, uh, coming up, we're going to have a look at this story from Port Alberni. And then right after that, we're going to have an interview with Wendy. And then after that, we're going to get to see some bees. But don't forget, this show is all about CD Saturday here in Powell River, coming up on March 14th. But this from Nancy. Go Island is on location at the very edge of the actual city of Powell River. Doesn't look much like a city, does it? <laughs> Joining me is Wendy Devlin, and this is her wonderful 10-acre farm right at the edge of the city boundary. Across the road, it becomes the district, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, Wendy, you have been, you're the founder of CD Saturday here in Powell River. How did it start? Well, a uh, number of years ago, a small group of friends decided that we wanted to learn more about seed saving. So we thought, uh, oh, let's just start doing it. And we went across the pond there to Courtney Comox and mm -hmm. attended their CD Saturday. And okay. this is 10 years ago, and it was a wonderful event. And we decided, well, why can't we have one here? So the couple of us sat around and thought, well, how do we get enough people to run an event? And right. I was then president of the Farmers Institute. And I said, you know, seeds, important to farming. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe it could be us, and <laughs> and, uh, and everybody agreed, and so that oh, wow. gave us a, a core group of thirty people to kind of plan it. Awesome. And um, we had our first one at uh, then Malaspina uh, College, now VIU. Okay. And sixty people showed up, and we and it filled the room. We had two classrooms; they were full. There was a lot of buzz in the room. Everybody was having a wonderful time. And since we'd already outgrown that room, we thought we need a bigger space, so we rented another facility. And the okay. next year, it went to 300 people. Wow! And then 350 people. Holy. And then the fire, fire marshal said, uh, yeah, you're <laughs> at your limit. <laughs> so we looked around the community for another facility that we could grow our, our event in, and uh, the recreation complex here with the hockey rinks and the swimming pool. Of course. Lots of classrooms, lots of uh, theater. We now rent the top floor. Wow. And so we have... How many did you have last year? We had 600. 600? Yeah. And just 10 years ago, you started with 60? Yes. Yes. 
That ten, is ten incredible. Years from 60 to 600. That's amazing. <laughs> so this will be the 10th anniversary yes. coming up this weekend. That's awesome. Well, actually, March 14th. <laughs> yes, well, that's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, so that is, uh, that is amazing. So what is next for you now that you've grown to 600 people? How do you, like, what's going to be available that day? <laughs> Well, on that day, um, we have the seed exchange, which is the heart of the event. That's a community seed exchange. Anybody can participate. You can bring your seeds and swap them for other people's seeds. Uh, and then you can also buy them because people like myself and the other people, gardeners and farmers in the district, we've already had a seed packing party and we have 700 envelopes of quality local seed ready to roll Great. right when the door opens. And then people That's bring their awesome. seeds yeah. and you can buy a package of seeds at the CD Saturday for 50 cents. Okay. And that's the same price as it was 10 years ago. Because wow. the other part of our event is making sure everybody in the community can, has, afford. can afford seeds and get gardening. Okay, so can they also, now do you have workshops for people to learn how to grow those seeds? Uh, yes, we have okay. quite a selection of workshops. We have eight now. Okay. Um, two run every hour for the four hours of the event. Okay. And this year is International Year of the Soil. Mm. So we are actually uh, having a soil room. And oh, four cool. of the workshops that are concerned with soil, they're going to be like biochar, composting with rabbit manure, okay. uh, bokashi, and something else. Excuse now, me. is that also going to be like learning what needs to be in the soil in order to make the soil healthy? Yes, how to build the soil, how to make okay. your soil just be the foundation of your garden. How interesting. Yeah. And then the other four workshops are on seed saving and other, other garden-related topics. Like how to save a tomato seed. Yeah. And, that, oh, and how okay. to start seeds. or okay. yeah. So we, we have a a mix of beginner workshops and advanced workshops now and they're packed and for two dollars everybody gets in children what? under 12 are free two bucks <laughs> yeah two bucks a toonie a toonie a toonie and you're in okay and that entitles you to attend uh, the seed swap and all the workshops plus there's community information groups and okay. vendors so there's and there's also a children's corner children's quarter goes great guns all day but with 100 200 kids show up on the day with their amazing. parents with their parents <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic well thank you so much for your time and we're yeah. going to talk to one of your counterparts okay, after sure. more about maybe you know getting hands dirty and that kind of stuff and what the seeds okay. actually what it looks like to feel and touch them so congratulations on 10 okay. years well, absolutely fantastic well uh, it's a great team of people mm -hmm. and you really need a lot of people to help make a community event like this happen. All we've, right. We've got them. Okay, cool. We're going to okay. take a short break. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This farm is complete with honeybees. And who we're gonna interview next, Doug Brown, he actually is a honey specialist. And these are his two hives he has here at Wendy's farm. And they're covered up nice and warm and cozy for the winter because while we do have beautiful sunshine, it is still getting quite chilly at night, sometimes as low as zero or minus one. So they've gotta keep the bees warm until the sun really comes out and the temperatures come up. So we're going to talk to Doug very shortly, all about CD Saturday. Um, but in the meantime, we are going to have a look at this story. That big old tree came from a seed. And that's what we've got here. We've got a box full of seeds ready for CD Saturday. Joining me now is Doug Brown and Doug I'm looking at all these seeds. This must have taken a lot of work to put all the little tiny seeds into these little packets for selling at CD Saturday. Let's see what we got here. Peas, Karen soup peas, Carlin soup peas. What are you holding? Basil. You've got some basil. Uh, Purple. Pop poppy. Poppy there's, mix. So there's nice. lots of different flowers. Um, beans, uh, many different kinds of beans. Now, in here in this tin, this is, what are these? These are beans. Oh, these are beans. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, so uh, these are bean pods. They're dried. Oh, they're dried okay. from last year. Okay. And they just pop open and, uh, yeah. And you, so you, you could, but, so if they're dry, you could soak them and cook them and be make a soup. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or you can dry them and plant them. You can plant those this year. And you get year. bean and, and you this would, year. Yes. Absolutely. So these are from last year? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Very cool. 
So this is what you would learn in one of the workshops. Absolutely. Is how to do all Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Okay. Because some some seeds are easy and some are um, complicated. A lot of yeah, very complicated. Okay. It, the way they're pollinated makes a huge difference. See, and I think that's what scares me. Like I grew up on a farm, like a great big huge farm in southern Ontario. So I was used to my grandfather loading all the seed into the planter and heading out and planting and and they didn't really get into the seeds maybe my grandmother did but this type of stuff but now this is becoming almost we we need to know how to do this because the world is really shifting but mm. i'm a brand new beginner so should i be coming to cd saturday would i oh, would, it, would it be over my head or could i learn as a newbie oh absolutely okay. um there's the the people who are involved on the committee and all those that are uh, not on the committee but still involved right. um, that's our philosophy is to help people learn about the seeds okay. how to save each one how, what what's the difference between beans saving a bean seed and saving right. a tomato seed i mean uh, there are differences so um, yeah uh, the Siberian kale. Ed educa <laughs> education is, is a huge part of Seed Saturday. Okay. And not just, you know, buying seeds or trading seeds, but learning. But learning, okay. Absolutely. And um, Wendy was alluding to the fact that there's also going to be classes on soil composition and how you make a healthy soil. Because That's right, yeah. a lot of people move in and they go, oh, that looks like good soil. It's nice and black and they plant and nothing grows. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, yeah, it, 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 yeah that, that might happen. It's, it's probably but, rare. But. How do you, like, so I'm glad that's going to be part of it because I think, and as a beginner, I have no clue what goes into making a good soil. So it's great that you guys are bringing both sides of the table, not only what to plant, but how to plant it in, in what you plant it. Absolutely. The, the key is the soil, right? I mean, that's okay. uh, obviously what, what needs to be healthy. So, and not everybody has a nice, beautiful 10-acre lot. So what if you have like a small lot? Can you plant in planters? Like oh, big pots? oh, absolutely. Like I mean, vegetables. And oh, stuff. absolutely. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You can get, you know, wonderful tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes from just pots. You know, um, yeah, lots of people do. Lots of people don't have the room that Wendy does, um, okay. and so balconies and uh, you know, absolutely. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Well, this is really fascinating. I just can't get over how different. Oh, look at cucumber, mini white pickling. Yeah. That's pretty specific. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So, well, this has been really a fascinating little education for me because I didn't really. And you've got, there's so many. So these are all seeds that you guys are going to be selling, right? Some this corn. one is P. Cascadia. Yeah. Bush snap. Yeah, these Again, will be very uh, specific. These would be sold or or traded. Or traded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us today because this is really truly a great education for anybody who's not involved, and a great opportunity for everybody to come out to the center and participate yeah, in CD and, and, Saturday. And that's why it has grown like yeah. it has because people. Six hundred people. Last I know. Year. Amazing. I know. Yeah. Amazing. People. People have come to understand the value of it and, right. and the security of, of the growing seeds, your own right? Food. And growing your own seeds. I mean, yeah. we are kind of isolated here, yeah. know, two fairies. So having, having, our, own seed, too, having yeah. our own seed is, is just part of the independence. And economics that, for uh, sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, Doug, thank you so much yeah. for your time today. You're welcome. Uh, we're going to take a short break, but we'll be back. These goats on Wendy Devlin's farm are eating everything in sight and everything that they're eating have come from seeds. On Saturday, March 14th, Seedy Saturday is going to be in full swing in Powell River at the Evergreen Center. They have eight different workshops going on. They have Kids Corner so that even the kids can learn all about seed saving and there's going to be seed trading on, there's going to be workshops, and there's going to be, you can buy seeds. They've got over 700 packets of seeds you can buy or trade, and you can bring your own. And if you've never done it before, this is the perfect time to learn all about how to save your own seeds, or you can also learn about how to make your healthy soil so that any seed that you bring home will actually grow and grow well. 
So all of that is happening on Saturday, March 14th. Congratulations to Wendy and her organization. 10 years, this is going to be the 10th anniversary. Last year they had 600, they have room for more. So come on out and learn about how to grow your own food with your own seeds in fabulous soil. An amazing way to spend a Saturday and cheap. You get in for a toonie, yes, a toonie. And right now we're gonna watch this from Campbell River. Thanks so much for watching Go Island today. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We've been on location at Wendy Devlin's beautiful property, just north of the city, but still in city limits. And across the road is where the district starts. They are getting ready for their 10th anniversary of CD Saturday, coming up on Saturday, March 14th at the Evergreen Center. Everything from a kid's corner to eight different workshops, seed trading, seed buying, it is all about learning. It's all about the education, right down to what needs to be in your soil for it to be healthy. It's going to be really great. And I'll actually take this moment to plug what's gonna happen in two weeks here in Powell River. On March 28th and 29th, there is urban homesteading. And that's gonna be a two day workshop about how to do all of that with your seeds and grow gardens on your urban piece of land. So even if it's, you know, a, a 16th of an acre, you can still grow your own food. And that's gonna be coming up with Kevin. And they, he's actually one of the original members of CD Saturday. So first on March 14th, you can learn all about seeds. And then on the 28th, you can learn all about how to do it, no matter what size of land you have. Even if you have an apartment with a balcony, you can put everything in pots. How cool is that? So we hope you have a fabulous week and thank you so much to Wendy Devlin and Doug Brown for joining us today. And of course to Puck Duck and Stanley Duck for opening the show with us. Thanks so much, enjoy the sunshine.